Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. This commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the third day of August 2022, and our topic for today is, With God, all things are possible. Let us pray. Our dear Father, the one with whom there is nothing impossible, our God who does great and mighty wonders in heaven and on earth, our matchless God, the one who has no equal, Father, we bow in reverence of your name. We worship and we adore you. We say you alone are deserving of our praise. So we've come to offer it before you. We ask that it rise as a sweet smell before you in the name of Jesus. We have gathered as your sons and daughters again before you, Lord. We ask that you would speak to us, communicate your heart to us, cause us that beyond words, our hearts will be synchronized to yours. Instruct us in the way that we should go. Grant us obedient hearts to obey. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jehovah, come back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 27. Mark 10 verse 27 reads, And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Mark chapter 10 verse 27. Our scripture reading for today is from the book of Romans chapter 4 from verse 16 to 21. Romans chapter 4 verse 16 to 21 reads, Therefore it is of faith, that it might be by grace, to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him who he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were, who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is, With God, all things are possible. And in the body of our devotional today, our Father in the Lord says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth from nothing. The Bible says that the earth was without form and void. The earth was shapeless. In other words, there was nothing good about it. If you had seen the earth in its initial state, you would have concluded that there was certainly no possibility of anything good coming out of it. Surprisingly, in less than seven days, the Almighty God created one of the greatest beauties out of nothing. God specializes in impossibilities. Long ago, a young boy was brought to us because he was a rascal. He was so rascally that he was put in the care of a military man who was also an instrumentalist in the church then. Anyone who saw this boy then would never have believed anything good would come out of him. But then, the military man started teaching him music. One day, my wife and I traveled. During our trip, she saw a flute she liked and decided to buy it for the so-called rascal. When the boy saw it, he started to practice. And today, that little boy whom everyone saw as a rascal is Pastor Kunle Ajayi, my personal minstrel. Each time I go for ministrations and Pastor Kunle plays the saxophone before I come up, the atmosphere changes. The Spirit of the Lord comes down mightily into the meeting. God changed the name of Hadassah, the slave girl, to Esther the Queen. God turned the flaming furnace into an air-conditioned atmosphere for three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. God shut the mouths of lions for Daniel. 
the Almighty God pulled down the wall of Jericho standing in the way of the people of God. What can my daddy not do? Our God is the God of possibilities. He will make the impossible possible. If there is any situation in your life for which an improvement seems impossible, God will turn it around. If there is any obstacle hindering your joy, the Almighty God is rolling it away now in Jesus' name. Don't ever doubt God's ability to make the impossible possible in your life. No matter what you are going through, my daddy, the maker of all things, will turn it around. You have to commit your life into his hands and trust him for the victory he will give to you. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. I'd like us to chorus it together one to go. With God, all things are possible. I like the fact that it mentions all things, meaning that nothing is left out. There's absolutely nothing that his power cannot do. There's nothing too difficult for him, no situation too tough to challenge him. Not even your situation, no matter how terrible you think it is, can have him thinking what to do. Hallelujah. In our devotional today, our Father in the Lord tells us that our God is a God of possibilities. In other words, with our God, the list of things that are possible remain endless. And then we are also told that he specializes in impossibilities. In other words, our God is an expert at restoring write-offs. You know when some cars are involved in terrible accidents, you just take a look at them and you say these ones are write-offs. No need bothering yourself to take them to the workshop. But with our God, that word does not exist. Nothing is a write-off. In fact, he specializes in restoring them. Hallelujah. That is why we know today that whatever it is that has been written off in our lives, he's restoring back in multiple folds in Jesus' name. What are those things that seem impossible in your life? Our God has raised the dead back to life before. He has spoken into dead situations and turned them around 360 degrees. He has spoken to barren wombs and they received life. He has healed terrible health conditions that no one ever believed they would be restored. Doctors had given up on them, leaving them to their fate. But the God of all possibilities, who specializes in impossibilities, intervened and made the impossible possible. And he has not stopped doing so. He would also intervene for us today in the name of Jesus. In the past few days, you'd realize God has been speaking to us about victory. Two days ago, we studied the topic, Victory over Adversities. Yesterday, we studied the topic, Victory over Sicknesses and Diseases. And today, we are here again, with God reassuring us that with Him, all things are possible. It is evident that He's speaking to us, that no matter what it is we are facing today, there is jubilation ahead, there is victory and celebration that He has packaged for us, despite what we may be going through at the moment. Hallelujah! Now, to let the God of all possibilities step into our situations, here's what we must do. We must be like our father Abraham, whom we read of in our scripture reading today. In Romans chapter 4 verse 18, he tells us about him that who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken. It says who against hope believed in hope. In other words, all that he could see around him was negating what he believed, yet he chose the report of the Lord. Verse 19 says, And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. In other words, we must shake off every thought and believe of impossibility, and be like our father, as was described in verse 21, that says, And being fully persuaded that what God had promised, he was able to perform. Scripture says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, had he said, and shall he not do it. Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? It is my prayer today that as we choose to hold on in faith and hope, even against hope, the Lord God of possibilities, who specializes in impossibilities, would put a smile on your face and give you a new song to sing in Jesus' name. We'd bow our heads now and pray. We'd say, Heavenly Father, I ask that every obstacle in my life, proving to be insurmountable, be rolled away right now in Jesus' name. Make that your prayer say, Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever it is that is standing as a stumbling block, whatever it is that is proving to be insurmountable, whatever is looking like a mountain, 
a hindrance to next levels. We declare now in the name of Jesus that they be cast out of the way. Right now, right now, right now in the name of Jesus. We address them and we say, O ye mountain, in the name of Jesus, be thou moved and cast into the sea. We declare that you are crushed into bits in the name of Jesus. Also begin to name those things that seem like impossibilities in your life. Could it be health challenges, finances, marital issues, whatever they are, mention them before the God of all possibilities, our God who is more than able to turn things around. There are certain things that only you know about. Drag them before the Lord who is the maker of all things. Why worry when our God is the God of all possibilities? He said, Hitato have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. Make your request known unto him today in the name of Jesus, and you'll see him intervene in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we are grateful for your word today again. You have never left us the same way we came. Thank you for turning every of the obstacles into dry ground for us to walk through. We ask that this dominion remains permanent all the days of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Proverbs chapter 28 down to chapter 30. Hallelujah. We are also thanking you and appreciating you for joining us today again. The Lord bless you. You may want to speak to someone or receive updates like this sent to you daily. Please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. You can also interact with us through our social media platforms. You can like, share, comment, subscribe. Spread the word. God bless you. As you go for today, step into your season of all-round possibilities in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 17 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder. Have a beautiful day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. Bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.